It's warm out here. See all the sweat? Into the goodwill we go. This has uh, the little locks in it. You see that? You open it up. Then, voila! And I don't know whose this was at whatever time. I might have got this out of Goodwill. There was a name on it. I did not cross it out. I don't think so. But it was in purple writing. And I love purple. Hopefully this goes to a good home. As somebody who appreciates it. Hopefully it inspires them. Maybe somebody who likes to dance. Okay, or somebody who needs to laugh. <laughs> somebody needs to hear the word of the good Lord. That's great. May there be amends. I think YouTube is great uh, when people take the time, despite any form of worldly success, not just the financial, but to, to, when they do things in the manner that they've accomplished what a lot of people would have liked to be part of, if you would. I think it's wonderful when they take time to go online and say hi and, you know, you get to see a little bit of how they live and that they have similar passions like you do and stuff. So what's really weird, really quick, is I think, but I don't want to say for sure, I think Kevin Bacon uh, sings with someone and I don't know if that's necessarily perceived as Dayton, but the Green is a place where supposedly he had signed at one time, and I was hoping that I would be able to stop out there sometime or somewhere local when I do have time because I don't usually have that much time right now if I'm always working on my projects. So I would like to see and see. I mean, I was looking for different things to do, and I heard about that, and I forget who else also sang there and stuff like that. But obviously, I love music, so I like to just simply listen to people, okay? I think sometimes, a lot of times, people get the wrong idea. With someone like me, um, because I do do music, I personally like to get away from uh, my musical endeavors and be inspired when, uh, you know, going and seeing other people sing and perform or what have you. And the only reason I'm bringing that up is because uh, my harassers, <laughs> I would say mental torturers, uh, have been torturing me continuously as if I am like the typical what I would perceive as grotesque, and I am not that way, okay? I used to go out and see a lot of people sing and play when I was self-employed because I used to travel a lot. But now I spend a lot of time in my studio and I spend a lot of time, you know, working on video projects and I'm cleaning things up right now. So I rarely get out anymore and uh, I was hoping to see some people that no longer even play out, you know, especially since the COVID thing. I did get to see Brian Setzler though, and I, I wish I would have had a much better camera. I would love to see Brian Setzler again, let's just put it that way, and I love Christmas music. Maybe someday I'll get to see him play again. I'm going to drop this here at the Goodwill. We're gonna put it right over here on the five star recipes. <laughs> I don't know what that is all about. Check it out. Who wrote that? Weight Watchers. That might be for me. We're gonna put food juice right there. Okay? Give it a kiss really quick. Goodbye! There it is. In the blue. Don't fall in. Oh, sorry about that. I was just putting, just putting a movie in there. I didn't know if they accept movies. Do you know that? What kind of movies? Footloose. Oh, yeah, yeah. Comedy videos? kind of. Videos? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank yeah. you, videos. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good one. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Evidently, he saw me making out with a Kevin Bacon picture <laughs> in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell his wife. <laughs> I've been busted. <laughs> the only one I think it really pissed off is the one connected to my brain. Okay. Goodbye, everyone. Foot loose, foot loose. Kick off Sunday shoes.
You know, that's so cool, you know? I think that when I do my videos sometimes, I think that there's a, look, there's a tractor. Look. Oh my gosh, look, turn around. Look. That's really cool, isn't it? Ah, we got competition, baby. I don't know if it's ever been done in a movie, but wouldn't that be funny? You know, if somebody brings that up in a comedy movie. Okay, I, sometimes I have my own ideas about stuff. Now, this might have been done already, but, uh, you know, and they, and they say something, I saw this in Foot, Footloose once, okay? <laughs> okay, and they get on lawn tractors like that. <laughs> and hold, hold, hold on a minute, we need music. And then they put in music and then they're heading towards each other. Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> on little lawn tractors like that, I mean. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that would be funny. I used to drive a Ford 5000, I think it was, and I think it was a 3000. I think those were the two that I rode. So I'm out of here. And hopefully nothing I ever say really offends anyone. Sometimes I think to myself as I try in every manner to be happy. And I am in many ways. I, psychology, psychology. And the shame of it all is unfortunately when people get into Holy Bible and God, a lot of times it is a withdrawal from a higher potential that a human has within themselves. A lot of idealism of ministry is to help others in a way that you can't even help yourself. And once you acknowledge ways to take care of you that is more polite for true servanthood, you realize, I acknowledge since I was a teenager, once I started musical endeavors, I used to tell people sometimes when I was in depth drinking, I feel like every time I sit down to do something musically, this is nothing that's going to be 10 or 15 minutes, a half an hour, a couple hours of my time, a couple days out of the week or a day on the weekend. It's like that's my eternity, meaning there's no end to it. And what I've been realizing is I had a really hard time because I was born and raised in the dominancy in Pennsylvania Dutch. And a lot of the traditional households that are pretty much manipulated a lot of times in how they even stay together is all I really had as a true example on how to face choices off of. Unless it was coming through the TV or radio or in passing very quickly, you know? I attempted to do things, but don't forget, it's not just my brain, there's the other brains and the people that you connect with, that those feelings and those thoughts are very mutual. What do you do? That's the problem. With the world, I fall on my face. With God, I stand on places of high and I scream, I'm like, Fill me up, I want all your love, the blessings you have for me specifically. The world truly has shown itself that it really doesn't have anything to do with me except for bullshit. That's pretty much where everything leads you to is a pile of poopy. It's always lowly and less than with the world, isn't it? But with God, the great I am, okay? It's happening the second you walk away from what is the main disturbance. It's usually found through the lips of another. <laughs> I gotta go. Okay. Don't pay attention to everything I say, okay? Unless it's beneficial for your life somehow. <laughs> you know, it's time for me to go. You can tell because I start slowing down my speech a little bit, like I'm kind of... Bye, everyone.